Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Apologies if I'm talking really quietly. It's still early, it's about half past seven I think. Um, Sunday morning. I just wanted to start this vlog off. I've got my cereal. I just popped the washing machine on. Today's a very exciting day. So, today Dave and I have our private 16 week gender scan. So today we are finding out the gender of our baby. It's also a health scan, which is nice, so we can make sure that everything's everything's going okay with, with the peanut. So, yeah, that is the plan for today. We told everyone that our, we'd find out the gender on the 20th of May. So no one knows we've booked it for today. They're all expecting to have to wait until the end of the month. So we're gonna surprise more with a video of us popping some cannons today. Um, so yeah, it's just really, really exciting. I thought I'd take you guys along with me. everyone so it's been um, a few days now since we had our scan um, I wanted to wait until I had sort of some time just to sit down and talk about the scan and my experience and everything so yes it's now Wednesday we had our scan on Sunday and um, yeah we found out we're having a baby boy which obviously we're both over the moon about I do have a video of both mine and Dave's reaction and then um, we popped some um, confetti cannons on camera after we reacted just to send to like friends and family as sort of our way of announcing to them that we were having a boy and obviously I would love to show them to you guys but um, I think I've said before that Dave is very private so um, he he doesn't want to be on camera which is absolutely fine completely understand so I'm just going to keep those videos for sort of my personal personal records you know for my friends and family so I hope you guys understand but um, I hope you enjoyed this little little mini start to the vlog with some cute little montage footage so um, for anyone who's interested I thought I'd just talk through my experience and everything that went on so if you didn't know I'm just over now 16 well nearly 17 weeks pregnant I'll be 17 weeks pregnant on Friday and so when I booked in my scan or when I went for my early it was a gender and health scan I was 16 weeks and two days we went to window to the womb in Stoke-on-Trent but I'd done so much research on where I wanted to get my private scan done um, and I know that window to the womb is a huge company who have loads and loads of branches all across the country I know quite a few people that have been to the one that's based down by my mum in uh, Norwich my mum doesn't live in Norwich, my mum lives in Essex, but I know that that's sort of quite a close one. So I know a lot of people that have visited that one. And everyone that I know who have uh, been to Windows to the Womb to do any of their scans, they don't just do the early gender scans. They also do like 4D scans, everything. There's, there's loads of options for packages, but everyone said that they had a fantastic experience and we're definitely gonna go back for our future scans. Um, it was just an all round amazing experience. They were so lovely in there. And they had so many like packages and deals that we could do just to sort of further the experience on what we can take away from it. So we weren't in the scan for long at all. 
um, which I think I'm just really grateful for because like I said, it was not only a gender scan, but it was also a health scan. So obviously the quicker we were in and out, the more, well, the healthier our baby is. So we were very, very happy about that. Obviously I'm still only my second trimester. So um, there'll be more scans in the future to keep checking up on baby's growth and everything, but he is looking healthy and um, yeah, no concerns whatsoever, which, which I'm really, really, really thankful for. So in the package that we did, um, it was the gender and health scan, which cost about £60 in total. I had to put a £20 deposit down and then £40 um, on the day, which was not bad at all, considering in the package you got so many things. So um, sort of one of the main things that we liked compared to just like obviously the hospital, just the regular scans, is all the scan photos we got digital copies of. So <laughs> when we had our 12-week scan, we had to take a photo of our scan picture and we had so many copies made but this time around i've got an app on my phone um i can't remember what it's called but windows to the womb work with with the app and on that app is everything so all of the photos of the scan are on there and there's also a video of the entire scan which is really really cool and uh, there was a part of the scan that we didn't get to see where they turned all the monitors off because we didn't want to find out the gender in the room so they turned all the monitors off in the room and like he you know this stenographer i believe is his title uh the stenographer um obviously then looked at the gender and um just did his part of the scan we didn't get to see that so it's really cool that i have that on my phone now i have the entire just video of the scan which is something that i really wasn't expecting but um yeah that was really cool and also as part of the kind of package that you pay for just the initial package that you just book that sort of gender and 4d scan that the 60 pounds covers you get um a preview of your baby in 4d as well which is cool so obviously a 4d scan you don't really do until i think it's on average about 26 weeks ish most people they recommend and obviously it's completely optional you don't have to do a 4d scan but they kind of show you what it would look like and that just was something entirely different we saw baby boy in a completely different way there he was completely uncooperative um which i said would happen he was asleep the entire time and he was he was curled up in a ball facing sort of me like i don't know how to describe it he he was facing inwards so he was just being really difficult and he didn't want to move but um we still saw a lot in the 4d preview even though he wasn't like showing his face much he had his face smushed against i think it was my placenta sorry if that's tmi um but he had his face smushed up against it um trying to suckle on it so apparently that means he's gonna be a mummy's boy <laughs> so yeah that was lovely we got loads in the in the sort of package just the initial package they give you loads you can pick which photos you want printed off and then obviously digital copies of everything else and then when you're in there they offer loads and loads of different things so obviously they ask you if you want to find out the gender in the room or if you want to take it away and how you want to take it away so you pay like two pounds i think it was and you could get a gender reveal scratch card made um on the day for you to take away and that be your reveal they sold like reveal cannons balloons everything uh one of the things we did get was heartbeat bear we did we did a package and i can't remember what the package was now because the bear was 25 pounds and then there was something else that made it like 30 pounds and it was a deal i have a feeling now that i've completely lied to you and that the video of the scan didn't come with i don't know there's something else that we did but yes we got a heartbeat bear i knew i wanted one of these they had loads of different like sort of designs and this is the only thing that you have to tell them sort of before you go in for the scan that you want to buy because obviously they need to record the heartbeat so i'll squeeze it for you so you can hear it so yeah i absolutely love that and i think if we go back for our 4d scan i'll probably get a different one um just it's just nice to hear how baby's heartbeat is growing and changing so this was this honestly both of us this just just made us so happy since then we've got it on bed on the bed and both of us just keep squeezing it so yeah there's honestly so much you can get done at there you know this isn't like sponsored by them or anything i'm just sort of just in case anyone was thinking about going private and getting an early gender scan i know it's sort of some people love the idea some people don't there's loads of other little things you can get little key rings and posters and uh, there's so much um that wasn't even like i didn't even know that they would offer until we got there and there's a whole display of everything so yeah we just had an overall fantastic experience and we're having a little boy which made us very very happy of course 
It's really funny actually because literally since um, our first scan, our 12 week scan, the second that I saw the baby in that scan, anyone will tell you, all my family, Dave, everyone, since I saw that scan, I was adamant we were having a little boy. Dave, my mum, pretty much everyone else were adamant it was a girl. But I just, I, every time that they tried to argue me, I kept saying, trust the mother's instincts. I just had such a gut feeling. I don't know how to describe it. I've never felt anything so strongly in my life. It was just, I knew it was a boy. Obviously, we were very, very happy. We would have been happy either way. It was just a really lovely experience and we were so glad we did it. We were going to wait um, a bit later on. We were, we told everyone that we weren't doing a private gender scan until the end of May, uh, about a week and a half before my 20 week hospital scan was booked. And obviously in the 20 week hospital scan, they give you the option to find out the gender as well, because um, I think my midwife said the 20 week, correct me if I'm wrong, 20 week scan is like an anomaly scan, but they also give you the opportunity to find out the gender. So we were planning on just going to um, a private scan like a week and a half before that one, because We'd heard some horror stories about private scans not being accurate or something like some people just freaked us out so we thought oh if we have a private scan just before the hospital one we can get final confirmation but when i looked into it more and more i realized that it's not th these were just horror stories so we're so glad we did it early and we managed to surprise everyone because no one knew we were going for this for this this private scan so everyone got their little surprise early and now everyone's going absolutely crazy buying little boy clothes. So yeah, that was my little rambly update. I know it wasn't much of a vlog, but just in case anyone out there is, you know, wanting to know a little bit more. And if you are interested in the pregnancy content, of course. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little life update of mine. Um, let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel. I've got loads coming up. At the minute, I'm posting every Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So plenty of videos for you guys, a mixture of sort of lifestyle, fashion sort of videos. But yeah, thank you for watching. I love you all and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.